Class 11 Business Studies Commerce What is performance of contract? Performance of contract is one of the methods of discharge of a contract. The performance may be of two types, actual performance or attempted performance. An actual performance of a contract means performing all the promises and fulfilling all the liabilities by all parties. For example, one party may promise to pay another party rupees 10,000 if a second party paints their house. Then, when the performance has become due, it's sometimes sufficient if the promiser offers to perform his obligation under the contract. This offer is known as attempted performance or most commonly a tender. Example, if goods are tendered by the seller but refused by the buyer, the seller is discharged from further liability given that the goods are in accordance with the contract and as to the quantity and the quality and he may sue the buyer for it. Performance of a contract relieves a person from further duties under the contract. There are three levels of performance. Complete performance, substantial performance and breach. How many ways a contract is discharged? Discharge by performance. Since both the parties to the contract fulfill their obligation arising under the contract, then it is discharged by performance. Now, discharge by performance of a contract can be actual performance or attempted performance. Discharge due to lapse of time. There, uh, there will be a discharge of contract if the performance is not completed within the given period. This will likewise lead to breach of contract. In such a case, the per person can file a suit in the court to enforce his rights from the contract. Discharge by agreement or consent. As per section 62 of the Indian Contract Act 1972, whose heading is effect of novation, rescission and alteration of contract. If the parties to a contract agree to substitute a new contract for it or rescind or alter it, the original contract need not be performed. So this is by the consent or willingness of all the parties to the contract. Discharge by operation of law. The contract is said to be discharged by operation of law when the parties uh, contractual duties are terminated due to the involvement of the law. The term operation of law refers to components of the law that are automatically given. Discharge of contract by operation of law includes death, insolvency, bankruptcy as well as, well as merger. Judgments of the court, unauthorized alteration of the terms of written agreement and rights and liabilities vested in the same person. Now, discharge by impossibility of performance. Discharge of contract by impossibility of performance usually occurs when the contractual duty cannot be performed because of death, illness or a reason caused by the other party. Impossibility of performing the contract may also arise due to an unforeseen change in the law, destruction of subject matter of the contract, non-existence of non-occurrence of a particular state of a thing, outbreak of war. Discharge by breach of contract. Discharge by breach of contract. When a contract is broken by one party, the other party or parties are freed from the obligation of performing the contract. For example, if a seller fails to deliver the goods by the appointed time or the goods are delivered but not up to the mark in terms of quality or quantity specified in the contract. An anticipatory breach is when a contract is not fulfilled and an entitlement, and an entitlement to legal remedy occurs. Repudiation occurs when the promiser refuses or explicitly states that they will not honor their contractual obligation before the predetermined contractual end date. In short, discharge of contract refers to a situation when there is need to terminate the contractual obligations. Thank you. For detailed notes and question and answers, log on to edigurinotes.blogspot.com.